Welcome back to the Now Morning Show, where we continue our exhibit series on now in collaboration with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. And this morning, we have an artist who is technically returning to TTT. <laughs> Ms. Tessa Alexander joins us to give us some insights on the beautiful pieces that will be staying with us this entire week long. Good morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show. Oh, thank you. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Tessa. <laughs> we were talking about the patriotic yes. get up yes. immediately, <laughs> indicating that we've thought this through, yeah. but so too is the art as it continues to send a message of femininity and a focus on females in a very specific way. Tell us a little bit about the pieces that we are seeing immediately, just so that we have more context as to why so many female visuals are around <laughs> us. Um, so many female visuals are around us because I've been looking into um, heritage mm -hmm. and um, silenced heritage basically and just, um, just trying to unsilenced narratives of, of um, women that, that were part of who we are today and acknowledging that and acknowledging that without them and what they, why they were brought to the Caribbean, why they were brought to Trinidad, what they did and, and where we are now, you know, um, just to kind of pay homage and respect to that. What kind of art do you do? Because we were looking at it this morning. I think we saw a mix of watercolors. Uh, someone was also asking if there's a, a, a cut or a clip of, of a painting mixed together. So it seems as if you dabble with different textures and, and patterns. Yes, I absolutely do. Um, for, for the pieces that are obviously, um, I don't know if you all could see them, but for the pieces that are obviously um, collage, they are working with um, archive images mm -hmm. um, that I sourced from the University of the West and these um, archive images of women, but not just of women actually, um, you know, like I have pieces there from um, being uh, quarantined on Nelson Island, mm -hmm. images that were taken as um, old postcards, and I, and I um, used those photographs, I, I blew them up mm -hmm. myself and then I um, painted on top of them. So it's a combination of collage with watercolor painting. Um, I particularly work with watercolors. I love watercolors. Right. I think it's perfectly suited for the Caribbean as well. And, um, but on top of that, I, so like this image that you're seeing here is um, an image of a photograph of newly indentured um, to Nelson Island to be quarantined. Mm -hmm. And behind it, I've um, collaged a, a map of India, of particularly of the region in India that uh, indentured people came from. Came from right. And then onto that, I've painted, well, I've, I've added color to some of their, their dress. And, um, and then around that, I've painted a technique called Madhubani, which is a technique that comes from the Bihar region of India, which is where most indentured ah. people came from. But even, even more so, it's also a female specific art tradition. So it was, um, women did it and passed it on from, you know, from one generation, generation to ah. the next. But of course it was lost to us coming to the Caribbean. Well, no, it's found. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> that's what I've been, that's what I've been trying to do. Yeah. Can and, I? And then this, uh, should I talk about Go this? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then this other piece here, again, it's an old postcard. Um, I, I chose to actually leave the wording of the old postcard, which literally says natives. Right. Um, so it's that kind of almost like a dehumanizing of, of of our um, ancestors. Um, and uh, to that now, I've also um, incorporated another female-centric technique. This one comes from West Africa, from the Ibu people. At one point in time, uh, the Ibu, the enslaved into, the, into Trinidad made up 20, uh, Ibu made up 20% of that. Um, and uh, so I incorporated um, Ibu um, Uli, with, uh, the Igbo tradition is called Uli, mm -hmm. and I incorporated that into the um, painting, I mean, into the um, photograph. Mm. Oh, I appreciate the education so much, <laughs> yeah. uh, because I had no idea in terms of the techniques at all, names much less the actual feminine aspect of things. Um, and the use of color, as you rightfully say, I agree, is very apt for the Caribbean. <laughs> but the use of texture, would you attribute that to your studies in fashion and design? Because I feel like you can almost touch or feel the textures of the fabrics with the use of color. Was that deliberate? Yes, I, <laughs> I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I yeah, definitely. I think even like when I 
did fashion, I was always very interested in textures and layering different um, fabrics and so on. So I'm actually also very interested in, in fabrics and the history of fabrics, which is interesting therefore that they've put this piece next because this piece, although it's of two women uh, in sugar cane, um, which of course, again, is much very much part of our history of who mm -hmm. we are, of why a lot of people were brought to the Caribbean. Um, but this is like a sisterhood because um, it is uh, an East Indian, again, I've, I've taken images from old photographs, but now for here now I'm painting it and reinterpreting it myself right. um, and adding things to it. So one image is of an East, uh, Eastern Indian descent woman, another one is of an African descent woman, um, because most of us, including myself, mixed race Absolutely. in the Caribbean. And, um, but the, the layering of their clothing um, is a combination, it's a collage of different fabrics that are very specific to um, our own heritage, so like the uh, madras that was brought to the Caribbean, and then of course the chintz and the um, African textiles and things like that. So everything is very um, specific to yeah. that. I'm also realizing as well that it's very <clears throat> female-centered, very woman empowerment, that sort of thing. You yourself being a mother as well. Uh, how important was, you f was it for you to bring forth that sort of motherhood and represent it on the canvas? Very, very, very important <laughs> um, for that very reason. Also, because even in terms of history, um, and, and specifically even in terms of art, you very rarely hear about women. Um, and you very rarely hear about women in history unless they've done something great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, uh, and then in terms of art, I mean, I'm sure each one of you could probably name like five male artists, but maybe one female artist. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and so it's it's also about recognizing that that you know the people that came here, the they had very specific cultures and 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 traditions that that you know that we did not know about. At least I didn't know about it. And oh, we, we didn't know about it, right? <laughs> um, even as an artist, you know, um, and then um, I also obviously, obviously, as you just suggested, having three daughters, yes, yourself, but and yeah. also the challenge of being a female, um, a mother, a wife, um, in a, in, and in a society where, you know, art is seen as, especially for, for well-known artists, it's a very male-dominated um, industry. And, um, and so, yeah, I just wanted to give agency to that as well, you know? You certainly have yeah. done it. Mm -hmm. no, thank you. you. Absolutely <laughs> done it. No. I'm sure yeah. there's someone at home saying, oh, wow, that's a lot more than just a visual. Yes. There is history, there is texture, there is, a, well, everything we described this morning. So you've absolutely done that. There's a name they will certainly well. remember yeah. for the female artists, not just in Trinidad, but across the diaspora. Because mm -hmm. one thing that we do share is that culture, mm -hmm. that, that um, not just in terms of indentured laborers, but generally a heritage of mixed race and those sort of specifics and you are giving it true color and texture this I morning. I think so. Tessa, Thank I you. want to add as well, normally when we talk about patriotic paintings or patriotic work, we see the flag, we see the steel pan, we see things like that, but you are looking at it from a different angle. Um, and I'm, I'm also guessing that was deliberate because of course you're doing your PhD in cultural studies and that sort of thing. But are you ever pulled to do the obvious patriotic ones or is this how you show your true Trinbegonian self? Um, good question. <laughs> I think, I think it just depends on, on, on you know, what I'm being inspired by um, at, at different times. Um, I would have to say that I try not to do obvious things, mm -hmm. even when I'm doing obvious things, if that makes any <laughs> yes, sense. Yes. Um, and um, so I, I always want people to, to, when I'm doing my art, um, I want people to look at the art, but then I want them to look at it again. So in other words, I don't want everything to be there and immediately, right. you know, so like the pan piece, um, well, I mean, so much to say with Pan, mm -hmm. um, but it, m most importantly, it, it was created here. Um, and we, know all the, we all should know the history <laughs> of Pan, and you know, it was created here. You know, it had a bad reputation in the beginning, mm -hmm. you know, but look at it now. Um, and um, so this particular piece that I, that I brought on set, you know, it subtly has the colors, Trinidad colors, the background, you know, there's black, there's the red, but of course I've added other things mm -hmm. into it because, you know, there's a little bit of purple and so on because, well, you know, there's sometimes there's a black that could look kind of purplish <laughs> and purple is made with red, mm -hmm. you know, so I kind of added all of that into it too, just to kind of, you know, 
not make it obviously red, black, and right, white, yes. like my top. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, to, to, to show that, you know, so, yeah. So I, I do, I think I do probably a combination of what, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And, um, and but, but the idea behind um, independence is not just that one day that we became independent. Mm -hmm. It's a constantly evolving process. Who are we? What do we want to become? Mm -hmm. You know, and to me, knowing where we've come from, because a lot of our history is just starting here and not looking back, almost like if the people who came didn't have a history. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's just also about recognizing that it's a constantly evolving process. Perfection. Okay. <laughs> a perfect way to wrap our introductory yeah. segment this morning, since we will be having these uh, pieces on set with us for this entire week. Now, if you since wanted to get a more up close and personal look at some of these textures and some of these styles, where can we find you? Well, I, I actually have a website, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's very easy. It's tessaalexanderart.com. Um, and um, and if you go onto my website, I also have Instagram because you know you have to have that these days. <laughs> Instagram and a Facebook page. It's same Tessa Alexander Art, um, and you know so so basically if they look at that, that will lead them on to you know um, your calendar of events, yes. your locations, so we exactly, could find the work exactly how we could get some of this into our homes. Mm -hmm. That I'm already great. thinking, <laughs> I'm immediately thinking, because as you said, we know about a lot of great male artists. I love when we have female artists we can actually have, mm. enjoy. So thank you very much for joining us this yeah. morning. And thank you for, for having me. For enlightening us. <laughs> and of course, for creating these beautiful works that will continue to be on set with us all week long. Tessa Alexander, the artist of the week, as we continue to partner with the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago. So she's given us some information that we can use as citizens to have more national pride on this our independence week and our next guest will give us more information that we as citizens can use <laughs> this time in the vein of exploring larceny as we talk to the ttps next you guys the non-warning show continues after these messages